Hello and welcome to Shy Guy Plays Paranautical Activity. So this is the 1.3 version. There will be a 1.4 video coming out quite soon. But I was just playing this morning and I was using the trident and I completed the game. So I said on my Twitter to a few people that I could complete the game with the trident. I was a bit nervous because I actually thought I couldn't. But I guess it's possible and here is the video to back it, back it up. So I didn't actually know that the Galeads can actually shoot down your trident from in mid-air and pretty much screw you up. So in the situation like now where you can't get the trident back because there's obviously an enemy quite near and you don't want to take two or three hits just getting a weapon back, you'll have to throw your bombs in to get it back. Simple stuff really. So this is obviously post commentary because I was it was very early this morning when I was playing this and I didn't really want to annoy any of my neighbours by screaming for help every time say an enemy like this appeared. Look at that. Spooky stuff. So there's another example of throwing bombs in to avoid getting hit. So another thing you need to do is obviously keep moving and get those shots aligned perfectly. Any slight miss and you're going to be screwed. So I've got an armor box there which is really useful I'm taking tons of hits. I've got 20, well 20 hits I say at the moment which is quite good. I think at the, I've got blubber and spinach. I also think I have rum as well. That's giving me a bit of a help really. So there's another situation where bomb saved my life. No maybe not. So we're just jumping around, thanks to um, the flying item. What's he doing over there? He's just hiding. He's dancing. He likes the music. Oh, I shouldn't have killed him. He was, just, he was enjoying himself, wasn't he? What am I doing? I'm a horrible person. Just a, killing a poor, innocent raver. I would rave for this music. It's so, so fun. So another thing I had to try and do on this last floor is choose my rooms carefully. So I didn't really want to go into a room, say a lava pit for instance, because they screw me up dreadfully. But I had to go through this swing and axe room, because that was the only way I could go. I'm just dodging this uh, monkey over here. Oh, he almost got me then, didn't he? So flying is really useful, because obviously if I'm flying on the ceiling, then he's going to have to go on the floor, which is going to be easier for me to see. And if I was looking up, well, I wouldn't be able to see anything on the floor, would I? So, I've got loads of money. This is because I have the, the scissors item, and I also have, I believe I have the horseshoe, unless I pick it up on this floor. So that helps me out a lot. But, that means I've pretty much picked up every single item available to me throughout this run, which is great. So another situation here, I need to get my trident back. Oh, I don't use a bomb. What am I doing? I'm crazy. I should really use a bomb in a situation like that, but luckily I pulled it off alright. So, the gift shop's there, which means another item. Or two. Or three? Probably only one. Or two. Maybe three. <laughs> so what do we get? Three? I was right. I don't know what I was doing with that. So I get the blowfish, which obviously is poison damage, which is great. And I also get the horseshoe, which is more loot. And they kind of stacked over each other then. So I look in there, no, I don't really want to do a lava room. This room looks alright, no horrible enemies. I'm taking a bit of damage actually, so maybe I should eat my words. The bomb brothers there. I have to throw my bomb into them actually, so I can get my trident back. It's really fun just bouncing around on the ceiling. I quite like to see a open roofed um, room, that'd be quite interesting. I don't know how it'd be like on a ship. What am I even saying? Crazy. So I'm having a look at the rooms now. I don't know why I'm picking up all this money, because this is obviously floor five. I think I must have thought there was six floors instead of five. I don't know why. This looks like an easy room, so I'll take this. Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> I'll take this one then. I must have assumed it was down the end of this corridor. So how is everyone doing today? Are you all excited for the 
4 update. I know some people already have videos out of it. Green 1990, getting his early access. It's not fair, it's not fair. Damn you, Travis. Damn you. So, I must be nearly done with this floor now. I must be, I must be. Swing an axe room. Is it really worth it? Yeah, it must be. I don't know why it was worth it. I no, had no idea what was going through my mind then. Just jump in a room with eight swinging axes. I'm on nine hearts though, so it's cutting it kind of close. There, right in the moth's face. Or Lexa. Now I know. So here we go. Do I go for that room? I don't think I do, because I, I believe it's the lava room. Gotta get those coins though, you've gotta get them coins. I really wish um, I had more items to buy at this stage of the game though. Just to make me even more powerful. I've been uh, taking a few uh, mystery boxes. I think I had three throughout this run. Which is quite good. I had um, armor in one. Life, no not life steel, there's no such item. Um, extra hearts in another. And a lightning bolt from the very first one I got which is great. So the reason why I don't pick up the anchor is just the fact that you sink quicker. Or well, not sink, but uh, you, you go down from jumps a lot quicker, which you don't really want. So this is quite a risky room, because I have to go in the middle to get my trident back. But I managed to pull it off quite nicely. So getting chased by um, those jumpy guys, the frogs as I like to call them. They kind of look like a mix of a frog and a dinosaur though. You tell me. So I've still got, there they go, he's still chasing me. I think I, it takes me far too long to kill these guys. And they end up killing me, I think. See, I can't even get to my Triton. <laughs> what am I even doing? I'm absolutely, oh, I'm the best Let's Player ever. Can't even kill. There we go, killed them. All by myself, right? All by myself. No one else did anything. So I've obviously taken the bomb. Coins aren't really too much of a problem. The armor. The armor and the bombs are the main things I need. So we've got nine hearts and we're getting... There's our boss room. So there we go. Will we do it? Will we complete this room? So we're on eight, eight now. We've lost some armor. One of the things I'm looking forward to in the new update though, is the HUD. It's quite a simple thing. But um, I suppose it gets annoying looking in the corner. So there we go. Final boss. Poison's doing loads to her. I found one of the funny things I find when I'm doing this at the end of the fight now is there's a actually a homing shot there. Look at that homing shot. <laughs> it's just still chasing me around the room. It's obviously got a bit better homing than the the lector shots. It's still going. Oh, there we go. And then it's done. So, last item, the banshee scream. And then we completed it. So there we go, you can actually do paranautical activity with a trident. So there we go, wonderful. So there we go, there's the developers, Mike and Travis. And at the very, very bottom, where is it? Come on. Somewhere. Somewhere. Has a trophy wife. President of the United States, Barack Obama. So anyway, thank you for watching, I've been Shy Guy, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!